Hello, I'm Dr. Graham Teague. This is a brief video to demonstrate two very simple techniques that you can use now to see if you have spinal imbalances. Now it's these imbalances that cause your pain, whether you have low back pain, sciatica, neck or even upper back pain. Now the first test is very simple. All you're doing is looking at your pelvic height. So all you do is look in a mirror and note if one side of your pelvis is higher than the other. Now, there are two landmarks that you can use. The first is what's called the ASIS, which are the bumps on the front of your pelvis, or alternately, you can just place your hands on top of your hips. Now, what you'll note is that one side of your pelvis is higher than the other, and this creates what's called a rotational imbalance. If your left side is higher, you have what's called an LFP, and if you have the right side higher, you have an RFP. Now, the bigger the height change, the bigger the imbalance is occurring in your spine. And also you can look at the side view of your posture and this is what detects what's called a tilt type imbalance where you can have a sway back where the curve in your low back is a lot greater or you may have a flattened spine. Now it's the pelvis which is the foundation of your spine and it's the imbalances that are centered around here that can create pain throughout your spine causing both muscle as well as joint tension. Now, a second test that you can use, which also confirms these imbalance, is what's called a straight leg raise. So simply lie on your back with your knees bent and then straighten one leg and raise it as high as you can until you can feel a pulling in the back of your leg or in your lower back. And then just repeat this for the other side. Now there are two things that you will note. First that you may find is you can lift one leg higher than the other side. Now if this is the case, then again it confirms that you have a rotational imbalance. Secondly, people should be able to lift their leg up to almost 90 degrees. Now if you find that you can't lift your leg up to 90 degrees, and if both your legs are similar, then you may have those tilt type imbalances. But these two simple tests indicate that there are imbalances in your spine. Now the greater the change, the more the imbalance. If there's minimal change, then it means that your pain is very simple and very quick to remove. If the imbalances are greater, then pain is still very simple to remove, but it will take a small amount of time to return your spine to balance. But these two tests can be used to detect your imbalances now, but you also can use them to monitor your imbalances. Long term wise, you can use these same tests to make sure your spine stays in balance, which is important for a long term future of being